Good afternoon flower friends. Um, today I'm going to show you a design where I've cut lots of um, pieces of foliage and a few flowers from the garden. Um, I've even sort of foraged a little bit of um, cow parsley out of the fields close by and um, I wanted to again stay with the foam free uh, arrangements and for this design I've got a beautiful um, just a beautiful glass square bowl but it doesn't really matter uh, what shape you use um, uh, you can use a round bowl but, but you want one that's sort of got a, a little bit of height on the sides and I'm going to pour my water into the bowl like so it doesn't need to be too deep and then I've got some, now these are pre-bought, I bought these from Country Baskets a few years ago um, and you know what it's like, you, you see things and when you're shopping and you think oh that's nice I could use that and then you bring it home and you put it in your shed or your spare room uh, for two years and then suddenly you find it and it's the best thing since sliced bread. And so, um, so this is just like a little twist, it's square, uh, which is why I chose the square bowl, but it's got, um, it's just like a little square twig wreath. And so I'm going to place that into the bottom of the bowl. So that's going to help me with my mechanics. And then I've got a second one here, which I'm just going to, it doesn't quite fit on square, but if I put it on the diagonal, it will then sit onto the top of the bowl. And so now I can use those two um, uh, twig wreaths um, to support my flowers when I put them in. So it's going to be quite a naturalistic looking design. Um, I, I know, I think I, I'm better known for my um, very clean cut um, arrangements and, and that is my favourite style but this is very um, on trend at the moment and um, these are from my friend's garden and um, he doesn't know yet but I'm sure he'll find out when he watches this on the internet and so with those now what I can do is I can push those between the sort of twigs of the wreath and then because I've got that wreath underneath at the bottom it also means that it stops it slipping a little bit so that gives you um, a little bit of a uh, bit more stability there and I've got another, another one here which I think will just come in a little bit shorter on the side so just work that through catch it in both of the um, twig structures and then we are off there so I'll stand to the side so you can see against the dark background uh, much better there now I know what you're going to be thinking is that's great, Mark, and I love it. Well, I'm hoping you'll love it. Um, but you will probably be thinking, I've not got a square bowl, and I've not got a square pre-made wreath to use. So, um, just to show you some different ideas how you can get this effect. I mean, obviously you can use any sort of twig wreath, that you know, pre-made twig wreath, or you can make your own twig wreath um, to go into here, but I've also got a couple of other things. Um, again, I find this my wholesaler. Um, I, I've used it on. I used it on uh, one of my demonstrations, so I sprayed it orange. Um, but they do come in such a, just the natural sort of bleached um, uh, cream colour, and so you can spray them whatever colour you want. You can leave them natural. Um, so, but it's basically a rattan circle with um, sort of thin rattan um, woven across it and so that would give you a good structure to work your flowers through okay and again you might think well I've not got one of those either so 
The other thing is I've made my own one here. And if I show you there, now this is a, um, a wreath ring, um, but you could also use your camp by, I think um, bridesmaids hoops are back in fashion at the moment. So you can get hold of just sort of metal uh, rings as well. Um, so they're, they're sort of quite easy to get hold of. Um, I think I got that one from Hobbycraft somewhere like that. Um, the, um, so this is a metal wreath frame, you know that you do the mossing on at Christmas. And then all I used was um, a reel of the uh, two millimeter aluminium wire. And I just sort of crisscrossed it across. You just have to fold it in a little bit to stop it slipping. But again, that gives you a great mesh to use onto the top of a vase or a, a design as well. And for if I was using this, then obviously you can do another one that would fit in the bottom, which will help you. But I think what would look quite nice is, because this has got a cleaner look to it, this is a little bit more rustic, this has got a cleaner look to it. So I think it would be quite nice with pebbles or gravel just in the water, and that would help to anchor step. So I've been running through the fields this morning. Um, not quite like Theresa May, but uh, I've uh, also just cut um, a few pieces of the um, cow parsley so we can bring a few of those just coming through and up and it's amazing how the twigs will hold everything in place for you and um, they will wobble about a bit but it's not so bad if you're doing this for yourself at home then that's great um, it'd perhaps be quite difficult to make it and deliver it to a friend while it's rolling around in the back of your car. And, uh, so, and again, I suppose I want it to be an all round design, but um, I think like all these things is, um, I tend to have a front side to it as well. So it's not just viewable from one side but sometimes it does look better from one side. And um, if you're anything like me, um, I think, oh, it's an all-round design, put it on the table, and then I think, well, that side looks the best, I'm having that one facing me. And we'll just thread those through. So a little bit of the cow parsley uh, going in there as well. So it's giving me a nice, light, delicate um, feel. It's such quite airy and ethereal. You can see through. And, um, and then I have some, I've cut some foliages, some, a little bit of heather from the garden. And um, this one was quite, um, had quite long stems to it. Uh, so I thought, again, it's such quite nice and light and not too chunky looking. And so I'm just going to bring a little bit of that out around the base. And this is quite good, the heather, because the heather sort of tends to, as it grows, it sort of falls and then grows up again. And especially if you want something to come out sideways, these are perfect pieces to just give you a little bit of a lower uh, sort of coverage in the arrangement. So, um, I've also got some uh, lavender that was growing in the garden as well. And so we'll, again, just clean off the foliage at the base of the stem there. And I think I'm going to decide which is the front and we'll bring a little bit of that lavender through. Now the lavender is quite sort of a delicate flower so I think if it was, if we sort of dotted it through it would probably get a little bit lost. So it's, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of cluster it together in one section there and then it just gives you a little bit more impact within the arrangement. 
and so bring that around there and then so I've got the um, lavender just nicely grouped in together and then see what else we've got oh I found some lovely again another type of heather but it was a beautiful uh, lime green colour so that just helps to give it a little bit of zip I think whatever colours you are using um, in your arrangements is you can always add a little bit of lime green and it just livens the whole design up it just brings it to that that starts to give it a lovely effect with the sort of different um, sort of nice sort of yellowy brighter green coming through there and I did find a few Kukura flowers uh, which are lovely and delicate uh, I think I have more than that but perhaps not um, so again we'll just place those in in a little group well a group of two I don't know if you can call two a group um, a little pair just coming out on the side there oh there we go find another one I thought I'd got another one and so grouping those into a little section there I did um, grab a little bit of foliage uh, which I thought would be nice to use if I needed just to fill in a little bit so um, a little bit of foliage out of the garden I, I have bought a few um, some lovely um, larkspur so that will just um, give me a little bit more oomph to the arrangement there so I bought these from my local florist and um, which uh, for me in Sandbach I, I usually go to uh, flowers on the cobbles and um, but the nice thing is by sometimes I think some people think oh I'll go to the supermarket but when you go to the supermarket you usually have to buy a mixed bunch and um, and quite often you know if you just want one or two stems of a flower then honestly go to your florist because um, they will sell you by the stem rather than by the bunch which is uh, which is quite good so I just bought three stems of this beautiful pink larkspur so this is delphinium family yep that's standing up quite nice there and just look at this one because it's, this one's got so many sort of side branches on as well so it's not just the one sort of head that you get and they get and all those side pieces as well which for a design like this uh, 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 sort of a bit more naturalistic garden looking design does it's quite useful to have all those um, little side branches on there get those so I've just got the three larkspur coming in I've popped them in at sort of slightly different heights so that gives a bit more color and substance to the arrangement as I say it does look sort of very uh, sort of natural country garden herbaceous border um, feel to it and uh, and then all I need to do now is just top up the water a little bit more because um, I've only got a small amount of water in there so it, the flowers will drink it quite quickly and uh, I want to um, uh, make sure they don't die off so just maybe a touch more water in there and then I think we're finished so um, so I hope you've enjoyed the demonstration and um, uh, you'll come see me again uh, on social media I'm the floral enthusiast uh, so you can find me there and um, um, before we go I want to say don't forget it's easy when you know how. <laughs>